Hi, I'm going to show you how to use seamless tiles with Silhouette Studio Designer Edition and I'm going to show you how to generate your own seamless tiles with a really cool website called Space Film. We're going to go to Space Film and the first thing you see is a bunch of color swatches and you just pick a color you like. I'll start with this pink. If I didn't see a color I liked, I could also type in the hex codes from a hex color chart. And you'll see I have lots of choices here. I've got chevrons and dandelions and argyles and Moroccans and polka dots and hearts and all kinds of things. I'm going to pick this fleur de lis here. And when I do that, you see I have a large pink fleur de lis here, but I also see what the fleur de lis looks like in all the other colors. So it would be easy to just pick a different one of those. So let's just use this green one for, for sake of argument. And this is actually the square that I want right here. It's 300 by 300. It's just exactly what I want, so I'm going to say, well, I'm going to right click and save image as, and then I'm going to save this as uh, FDL green, and I'm putting it in a, a folder on my desktop just that I made just for the tiles. Now I'm going to go to Silhouette Studio, and I'm going to open that folder with the tiles, and I'm going to drag this into my shape. And then I can go to the pattern window, advanced options, and I can scale this however I want, big or small, and there's no seams. I can rotate it, I can pan it, change the position of the pattern within the shape. Very easy, that's all there is to it. The other thing I can do is I can put this shape in my library by either dragging and dropping to the folder or to the Open My Patterns window. Either one will work. So you see that I've added it there to the My Patterns folder, which means that when I go back here, and let's say I want to fill this butterfly, I go to the Basic Options, and there is my new pattern that I can just click. Now, if I want to use this pattern and I don't have Designer Edition, I can also do that. I'm just going to drag it on the mat and not drag it into a shape because that doesn't work unless you have Silhouette Studio. I'll drag my shape over and I need to send my pattern to the back. So I'm right clicking and sending to the back. And now I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to modify Crop and now I can do the exact same thing I did before. I can scale the pattern, I can rotate, so I get all the same benefits that I had of having this in the pattern palette without having designer edition. So very cool, very useful. You can generate thousands and thousands of patterns in any color at the Space Film site. It's quick, it's easy, and it works terrific for your print projects and print and cut projects in Silhouette Studio Designer Edition. So I hope you find this useful. Thanks for watching.